The Georgia Dome in Atlanta, the site of the Packers' biggest win so far this year, the divisional win over the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, hey, welcome back to Atlanta. Drew Smith and Johnny Gray with you. Boy, what a game this was on Saturday night as the Packers beat the Atlanta Falcons and are now headed into the NFC Championship game since the first time since the 2007 season. And, uh, Johnny, certainly a team that deserves this. They dominated in every phase of the game. They did deserve this. This is something that's been going on for four weeks now, starting with that uh, New York Giant game when they had to win, at least to keep themselves alive. They've had that mentality to go out there and play at the best of their ability on all offense, defense, and also special teams. And again, tonight, they went out there on the defense, offensive side of the ball, and just lit it up. Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the guys who really excelled in this one. Aaron Rodgers with a fantastic game, 31-36, 366 yards, three touchdowns, no turnovers, Johnny, and that was one of the big things we said coming in. You can't turn the ball over. They turned it over early with a fumble, but after that, the Packers rolled off 35 unanswered points in this game. Uh, that tells you the defense was locking down and that the offense was locked in. They were locked in. They, uh, Aaron Rodgers was, was precise with his receivers. Uh, they didn't lay him out to, uh, lead him out to dry. He was able to put the ball on the money. Receivers did a great job of separation. Only, they only needed a half a step, and Aaron Rodgers would put it right on the money. Well, as you look look forward here, Johnny, as they'll play either, of course, the Chicago Bears, the Seattle Seahawks, it doesn't really matter who they play. They're going to be away. I think right now the Packers are a team with very few weaknesses. All right, special teams obviously was a bit of a weakness because they gave up that 102-yard touchdown to uh, Eric Weems there in the first quarter, but uh, other than that, you know, they didn't even have to punt during this game. When the offense is going so well, you don't have to put your punt coverage team out there. That's a good thing. That's a great thing. Also, you got a little bit of a running game. We thought last week was a fluke against Philadelphia with uh, James Starts, but tonight I thought he did an excellent job. The offensive line still opened up some some holes. Uh, Quinn Johnson had some great blocks right up on the inside like he did last week. Yes, I think it's starting to come together even that much more. Okay, the Packers uh, beat the Atlanta Falcons, so here's what's next for the Packers. Packers now have to watch Sunday uh, it's going to be at noon. It's going to be on Fox 11 as the Bears and the Seahawks are going at each other to see who will host the next round. Packers cannot host. Uh, who do you like in this game, Johnny, between the Bears and the Seahawks? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. Bring them on. Those guys not locker room over, over there right now are saying, hey, we've been playing do or die for the last four weeks. It doesn't matter who we play now. You know, Chicago Bears have been sitting around. The Seahawks, of course, have gotten very little respect. They ended up bunch- going out and punching the New Orleans Saints in the mouth. And so they've kind of got a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. And they would host, of course, the next time and that would be in Seattle but uh, for right now the Packers a big win it's now NFC Championship week Johnny Ooh, one game away one game away from the Super Bowl oh my goodness Super Bowl of course going to be in Dallas this year I don't think they'll have uh, big piles of snow in Dallas most <laughs> likely most likely like they have here uh, in Atlanta but let, first things first Packers have to win that NFC Championship game we don't know where that's going to be Packers a fantastic win today for sure 48-21 is the final so that means they move on to the NFC Championship game where they just await the winner of the Bears and Seahawks. For Johnny Gray, I'm Drew Smith reporting from the Georgia Dome here in Atlanta, Georgia. Send it back to you.